Welcome to the Somme Vigil podcast series, which tells the story of the Battle of the Somme in the words of those who were there. I'm Simon Bendry, Director for UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. This series was commissioned by the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport and developed in partnership with the First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme and Chrome Radio. It was first released to accompany the Somme 100 Vigil at Westminster Abbey, held through the night of the 30th of June and into the morning of the 1st of July 2016, to mark the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In this podcast, an artillery battery prepares for the bombardment of German lines before the Battle of the Somme. In June 1916, Preparations for the offensive intensified. On the 24th of June, the artillery bombardment would begin. Seven days shelling of the German lines before the British infantry attack on the 1st of July. The men worked at a feverish pace to sight and camouflage the heavy guns, sometimes meeting with the unexpected. Second Lieutenant Stuart Montague Cleave was born to a military family in Hampshire in 1894. He attended the Royal Military Academy at Woolwich before being commissioned into the 36th Siege Battery, Royal Garrison Artillery. After the war, he combined a successful career in the army with that of a professional musician. He died in 1993, aged 98. His battery was involved in preparations for the artillery bombardment at the end of June. We were the first battery to arrive with any guns bigger than 6 inch and caused a great deal of attention by the higher authorities because of the sheer weight of ammunition which these 8-inch howitzers could produce. They were monstrous things and very heavy, but the machinery of the guns was very simple and that's why they did so extremely well. And they didn't give nearly so much trouble as some of the more complicated guns that came later on. We moved to a splendid position near Beaumetz. The guns were dug into an enormously deep bank about 10 feet deep by the side of a field. The digging we had to get into that gun position was simply gigantic. We camouflaged it very well by putting wire netting over it, threaded with real grass. We had an awful job to manoeuvre the guns into it. We had to manhandle these enormous monsters. They each weighed several tonnes. When they were in position, they were very well concealed, so much so that a French farmer with his cow walked straight into the net and both fell in. We had the most appalling job getting this beastly cow out of the position. The man came out all right, but the cow... However, it was enormous fun. It was one of those delightful moments when you all burst out laughing. You have been listening to The Story of the Somme, a Chrome Radio production for the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, in partnership with UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. The producer was Katrina Oliphant. In the next podcast, an army chaplain prepares the men for battle.